I was sat on Smuggler's Blues last night and a couple came paddling over on their paddle boards called Paul and Lynn and they're fans of Aquaholic and they asked me if I'd like to have a look at their boat. So I said, could we do a meet the owner? And they said, absolutely. So their boat is a Fairline Tiger 38. Now this is one of my favorite boats in fact, and there is a full tour of one of these on my channel. So if you want to see into every area, there's a video already, but it's really interesting to meet somebody who's got one and they can talk us through why they bought it and why they like it. So we're going to go on board and we're going to meet Paul and Lynn and we'll have a chat. Welcome aboard. Hi Paul. Better do the social yeah, absolutely. distancing. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. That's it. Yeah, come on board. Excellent. Your boat looks great. Uh, we have had a bit of a tidy. Excellent. A bit of polish. Good stuff. It's always tidy. Well, Lynn says it's tidy. <laughs> and shine, yeah. Excellent. So tell me a little bit about it. What year is this one? Uh, this is 2013. Yeah. Um, this is one of the first ones they made where they changed the windows. Ah, so it's got the whole so, windows on the outside. Yeah, but we've gone for the square ones. Right. And the rectangle. So we, with the new, the new shape style, which they, they more or less carry through. Right. Yeah. yeah. At the moment. Brilliant. Um, oh, that so, makes quite a difference. We'll have a look at that from the inside in a minute. Yeah, That'd be great. Yeah, that does look good. And I noticed you've got the hard top on this one as well, which I think was, was that around the same sort of time they introduced that, I think, wasn't Yeah, 2012, it? when right. they first brought the first ones out. Okay. But it just saves all the hassle with the canopies, yeah. which we do not like. I can imagine that. But yeah. when that roof is open and, and you're out there on a, on a good day like today, which is unusual at the moment, <laughs> um, it makes such a difference. Yeah. It's, it's lovely. Because it's a fabric roof, isn't it? So you've only got this little bit here as the shade, effectively, yes. I guess. But it is. this is quite a big section Yeah. on quite a few boats. They, they are very much smaller right. as, as the radar art still, with maybe an extension at the back. Yep. Yep. But this is all, all solid. Right. Yeah, that's really so good. It also makes a good mount for the speakers. Um, yes, true. Yeah, you've got the fusion speakers. In fact, you've got a lot of fusion speakers in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're the, uh, the new signature range they've got. Nice. Um, which is quite powerful, actually. Yeah. Um, we've also got the base one down there. Oh, right. Wow. Which. Taking it's it seriously. Bit of a dustbin lid, but, yeah. uh, <laughs> that must make all the difference because actually that's the one thing lacking in my boat. I've got um, upgraded the speakers on mine, but not the base. And, yeah. I, and that's one thing I keep thinking I ought to do because I think that would help when you're out, the engines are running and you're cruising. It that's, does make it. But when you're not cruising and you're in a marina and you've got it on, yeah. not too loud. Of course. You, you can see where all your rattles are. <laughs> right. Because that will rattle everything. Yeah. But when you're out cruising, it doesn't make a bit of difference. Real. Everything's hidden, man. Yeah. But it's amazing. Yeah, it's yeah. A, it's a good sharp sound. Excellent, excellent. What else have we got here? Um, well, I've moved up to the helm. Yep. Um, it's quite well kitted out. Uh huh. We've had an additional plotter um, fitted. Oh, I can see that. It looks like a, a new mount as well, because that's not the standard, yeah, no, no, thing, it's is it? Standard. No, we had the um, chart table made smaller. Right. Because we still like charts. Yes, of course. Um, we still like to have them up there. Yep. That's uh, a forward-facing sonar. Oh wow, okay. Um, there's a, I don't know if you can see a couple of main lines on there at the moment. Yep. They're, they're the uh, piles in the marina. Wow. That it's picking up. Okay, so that's those up, yeah. they were there yeah, and over there. Um, we've got the rear rear camera. Okay, so that's that. Yep. So, so that one's on there. Brilliant. Um, m masses of variations of different combos you can have. Yeah. Um, the other plotter here, which is great when you sat down, but not yep. when you stood up. Right. Um, but we've got the engine compartment. Yeah. With, with, a, with a Garmin um, camera down there. Uh -huh. It's infrared as well. So, because that's obviously dark down there at the moment. Oh, superb. Yeah. So you can see there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, all the screens. We've got the autopilot. Right. Yeah. On that one. Yep. And then we've got the, the data, which Excellent. we can change to, again, different variations. Brilliant. I'm also a fan of ICOM. Okay, yeah. Um, I, I like the way things set up on ICOM and the quality. So you've got the ICOM uh, VHF there. Yeah, that's the command mic. Right. Um, oh, okay, so it's a black box, isn't it? So yeah. all the gubbins are down below that's and right. everything's controlled by the just, just the controlled handset. by that one there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, oh, this is a good gadget. I never realised, this is the new remote. Yeah. There is a function on here. You can point and push a button and uh -huh. go in the direction that you've pointed it. Really? Wow. But the other day we were going up the river on autopilot uh -huh. and I accidentally pointed it and the boat went to a sharp <laughs> So you've got to be so careful with it. You've got to be careful. But if you're on your own, single hound, yeah. um, you can go on the bow, right. do your fenders, have yeah. this around your neck, yeah. and you can steer, steer the boat, the boat from, from outside. That's fantastic. So yeah. We are able to do that on the watch as well. Right. <laughs> you've got all the gadgets on oh, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's the, the captain. Captain Watch, right? Um, Garmin again, yeah. Which a bit like your watch has yeah. loads of features. Uh -huh. You will use a lot of them, but it does take a bit of practice. Yeah, 
Yeah, I can imagine. But you will get there in the end. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm looking forward to getting hang of it. And that's also connected to Fusion as well. Wow, so, so you can control the stereo from it. Yeah, well, likewise with these. Yep. Um, we can take that over there and we can go to the media uh -huh. on there so we can control all the fusion. Yep. Um, and we can also go to the engine gauges. Wow. And again, different variations. You fuel are. consumption and, and everything else. That's that's a gateway that Volvo have that you can have connected in right. to get it onto the plotter. So you'll probably gadget it up. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else, much else we can. <laughs> but there is one thing I'm, I'm about to fit at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, Bennett make a um, automatic trim tab system. Right. Which oh, okay. Will replace this one. Yep. With another black box down below. Yep. But it's still in the box at the moment because where we've been out cruising, I didn't want to take the chance of fitting it and then having to go along sideways for a week. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so make sure it's working properly before yeah, we go. So we're going to wait until we get back to do that one. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, worth mentioning, I think, of course, that we're in Brixham at the minute, but you actually keep the boat in Mercury, I think, don't uh, you? Up yeah, in, the boat's in Mercury. Up in the Hamble. That's right, yeah. Yeah. We keep it in Mercury. Um, I say, it's nice being up the river, it's a lot sheltered. Yeah. Um, we're like down in Brixham, you do get the swell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. And we can still use it all year round. Yeah. Because we can still get to the Isle of Wight. Um, and, and yeah, go further afield, but still shouted. Awesome, awesome. Uh, a few safety features. We've got the yep. uh, name plate there with all the oh boats yep. information. Yeah, that's a very good idea. So uh, the Coast Guard will always catch you and say, can you uh, give us your MSI or call sign? Or yeah, yeah. And so this so. is actually the name of the boat, but spelled out phonetically. Yeah. Brilliant. Which that's very good. On the spur of the moment. Yeah. When you're under pressure. Of course. Yeah, you don't be thinking, what the hell is it for H? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, oh, another little little thing. Yep. We, we've got the horn signals, which um, I've put on here. Okay. It just helps you think quicker. Yep. But um, they're actually teddy bear eyes. Right. <laughs> Amazing. So, uh, yeah. Not not marine fight, so they were pennies yeah. instead of pounds. Exactly. Exactly. And just to explain about that, there are actual horn signals on boats that you can indicate to the boats what you're doing. So, for example, if you want to let somebody know that you're altering course to port, then two blasts of the horn is on altering course to port, one blast is on altering course to starboard, and three blasts is on going astern. So, hence the two blasts there is on altering course to port, that's to the left, and one blast to the right, and the three in the centre, that is... Uh, it's actually, I think, operating astern propulsion rather than necessarily going backwards, so it might just mean you're stopping, but that is what the three dots there are for. It's very clever, I haven't seen that before. And we have used it. Yeah several times excellent so it does, does make use um so we've got the roof yeah oh yeah we'll open the roof up <coughs> which on a day like this yes it's fantastic but also as well you can half shut it to give you some extra shade right of course so you yeah don't have to have it fully open so if you're at anchor or something you can just have it like that yeah it doesn't take long as i say um but then when it rains you can get it back just as quick yeah which uh, is ideal so no no covers so that's like 30 yeah. seconds and you're there, isn't and it? we're in full sports mode. Yeah. And presumably there are canopies all around the back, so you want to include the whole thing. There are canopies, yes. Yes, the uh, camper canvas that goes all the way around. Yep. Um, it looks better like this, but obviously when it's cold, yes. you need them in. Yeah, of course. Of course. Brilliant. So, yeah. Um, another piece to show. We can just show you the engine. Sure. Compartment. Again with this uh, fancy table that hides away. These are great. Yeah, I need one of these on my boat. Like, it's such a pain dragging in and out from the cabin. That's such a nice so idea. Is that quick? Yeah. So there is a little neck here. Uh huh. That I've made a little feature that helps me hold. Oh, we've got some more safety gear in here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we've got the grab bag. Yeah. Which is flares and a GPS in there. Yeah. Um, we also have a sea anchor. Oh wow. Okay. Which um, a big tube that fills up. Yeah, so that's like a parachute, but for water, effectively. It, yeah. So hopefully hold us into the waves instead of being onto the waves. Yeah. So, so just to explain that, if you stop, if your engine stop and you're out at sea and it's rough, what tends to happen is the boat will turn a beam onto the sea, which is the way that the waves are going. So you end up with a very nasty rolling motion. If you put a sea anchor out, it's a, it's like a drogue, and it drags from the front and it pulls the boat so the, into the wind. So you ride on the waves like that rather than rocking sideways. So that's a really good idea. Yeah. Uh, just the anchor ball, which is a fold up one there. Yeah, there. very good. A few boat hooks. Yeah. Oh, we've even got a litter picker. All right. We try every time we go out to take a piece of plastic out of the sea. Oh, that's very good. Yeah. Which we call this specially to do. Brilliant. 
Or if we do a beach walk, we'll take it with us. Yeah. And we'll pick a few bits up. Fantastic. So everybody does a little bit. Yeah, exactly. But we do try. Awesome. But um, yeah, this little gadget here, uh -huh. it's not fair line. Right. This is two walking stick ends. Yeah. With a piece of um, snow flag bar I had. Right. But basically, when you, you lift this step up. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Let's come here out of the way. Yeah. No, I'll just grab that. There's a button at the helm. Takes a while, but yeah. yeah. I once bought a boat just because it had an electric lift engine. <laughs> they are nice, aren't they? That, that was a derail. Right. And I Excellent. saw it at the London Boat Show. Yeah. I thought I want one of those because I, I, I like gadgets. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't show. <laughs> um, but yeah, down there we've got the generator. Okay. It's a perfect. Um, and we've got oh, tor torpedo. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. Okay, so right. that's the generator there. So that's giving 240 volt power when you're away from shore power in the marina. And that's a torpedo outboard engine. It's not an engine, it's an outboard motor. I get told off for calling it an engine. Yeah, that's it. And that there is the camera, obviously, that we were looking at. That's it, yes. Yeah, on the screen. Camera. That one just there. So that, and you said that's infrared? That's infrared, yes. So it works even when there's no light in here. Yeah, which is quite handy, because if it's not me, we'd have a fire, hopefully. But, um... We're even just checking for the well, we water in there or anything yeah, else, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. That's well, a good thing. I, I, I did see the other day that um, one of these strainer lids yep. on a, another fair line, that's easy. Selcom, yeah. um, the lid cracked, broke yeah. and flooded the engine valve Yeah, pumped it full of water. Yeah, I've heard of that happening. Yeah. yeah. Um, so these are the D4 300s, 300 horsepower each. That's it, yeah. So what sort of performance do you get with those? Um, we generally cruise about 22, 23 knots. Right. Um, I quite I don't like to get anywhere too fast because I want to enjoy the journey. Yeah, so no, fair enough. Got a fast boat. Yeah, I, I do like to enjoy enjoy the journey. Absolutely. Um, we have had top end when everything is going with us. Yeah. About 37, 38 knots. Wow, that's when fine. It's been fully cleaned and yeah, we, we got a light load on as well. Yeah. Um, not full of fuel. Yeah. Um, so it's, she is pretty quick. Yeah. Um, but it's a lot of boat to lift out of the water. Yep. They're a little bit back heavy, but once she's up and out, yep, she goes. Yeah. Yeah, they're a good engine. I've got that engine in my boat, the D4, mine's a 260, and I really like it. It's really smooth and quiet. Yeah, yeah. But um, very clean engine bay. Yep. Um, you can then see if there's any issues uh, that you've got down there. Hopefully none. Yeah, of course. But uh, yes, well, well cleaned. Um, I think we've got a DSC alarm going sure. on the VHF, so uh, just clear that. Very good. Yeah, uh, fire extinguisher. Yep. This boat's done, well, on the last service, it's done 428 hours. Oh, really? But we're, we're doing about 90 hours a year. Hey, get some use then. Yeah. Yeah, so, brilliant. So we, so we do use it. Yeah. Summer and winter. Yeah. And where do you go? I mean, obviously yeah. you've come down to Torbay from, from the Solent. Yes. Uh, well, the furthest we, two years ago, we were able to get all the way down to the Sillies. Nice. Wow. Spur of the moment. Yeah. Uh, went down there. But mainly we're in the Solent, so we're doing the Lymington, um, yep. Gunwalk Keys, Benbridge. Right. Um, Newtown Creek. Yeah, Newtown Creek, Yarmouth. Yeah. All, all the local places without having to, to do the bigger journeys. But we we tend to come west one year. Right. And then we do the Channel Islands in France the next year. Wow. So, <laughs> so this year we haven't done very well because obviously the lockdown. Yes, of course. But um, we're going to still think do west next year because we missed out this time. Brilliant. And how long have you had the boat? Uh, we've nearly had it three years. Wow. And I've only just finished working on it. <laughs> getting how you want it. Fitting the gadgets. Yeah, um, I get that. Actually, while you're there, there's yep. another gadget I'll show you at the back. Okay. There's, uh, I've got a remote control on the, on the keys. Yeah. Um, up here we've got some spotlights. Oh, these fellas here? But they are remote control with the fob. Oh, brilliant. So, so when I, you came back to the boat at night? I can be on the other side of the marina. Yeah. I was on the sea wall over there the other day and yeah. reach from there. Wow. From over here. But that will illuminate the whole back of the boat. So if you're in Alderney, yep. no lights at all. Yeah. Coming back, you just flick the fob and they go on and off. That's fantastic. It's great if you're on a mooring boy and you can't, you're not Absolutely. quite sure where it is. Yeah. Yeah. Or even the safety factor, because sometimes we have been out at night 
anything yeah. goes wrong or anything, you've got some illumination that you yeah. can light up things to check what's going on. That's a really good idea. And the tender on the back, what have you got on the back? Uh, this is just a Lodestar tender. Right. It's basically, we only really use it to get to and from shore. Yeah. So with the electric engine. Of course. But it's on a launching system that lifts up and drops the thingy over the back. Okay. Um, but we've still got access. Yeah, that actually yeah. works really well because often when you put a dinghy so, on there, you can't get around it. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's still still get on and off the back yeah. easily. Awesome. Um, we just put a few extra grab rails on. Yep. Didn't come with the boat, but they were put on there. Um, You've done a really nice job. I changed this. all the uh, navigation lights to LED ones. Okay. Yep. Um, there's the reversing camera up there. Ah, okay. So that's that little silver fellow pointing downwards. That's it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, these are even icon vhf aerials as well right so they've been um, switched as well yeah one, one is for the um the vhf one yeah. is for ais okay because this boat has got uh, both bands on on the ais okay um which, which we've got on the plotter yeah so just to explain the ais that is a tracking system that allows you to see other boats movement if they're fitted with it and allows them to see you so a very useful feature that particularly if you're going cross channel because you can see the ships coming um you've got the phantom radar right with the phantom radar the new ones you don't have to let them warm up okay they instantly come on right which is a good feature yeah if you need it but, yeah but saying that on long trips we have the radar running all the time anyway of course yeah yeah and it's right about the way there as well which is great that's it um we've got kallenberg air horns okay which are the super yacht air horns <laughs> okay that's the silver yep. chaps there facing forward yep yeah. uh, i'll just give you a little peek on it <laughs> okay to, uh... oh that's the proper thing isn't it yeah yeah, so you, you, you are heard. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Cool. But there's a compressor down there for that. Really? A pressure vessel. Wow. That's, that stores the air. <laughs> That's pretty serious. Yeah. Excellent. But they're on the um, American air aircraft carriers. They right. They supply the horns for them. Wow. Same manufacturer. <laughs> serious stuff. Yeah, serious stuff. Excellent. So the grid on. Do you cook on it? We, we cook all the time on it. In really? Fact, that's the only time I cook. Really? And what do you cook on it? Uh, fish. Yep. Steaks, burgers. Wow. Prawns, whatever we can get hold of. Fantastic. But it's, it's all done up here because you don't yep. get the smells downstairs. Oh, of course. Yeah. But, but it, it, it's a nice feature. Yeah. A lot of people don't use them, but we got, we got the copper matting on there. Right. It makes it easier to clean. Oh, uh, okay. But, yeah. Um, yeah, you get used to it and you've got a little routine and yeah. it's worth the effort. For what you get out of it. Yeah, and it's nice to stand out here cooking as well, it's right? Being inside. Lovely. Yeah. yeah. Good. Awesome. Let's have a look. Oh, another little thing we do well, yep. when we're um, birthing, yep. leaving the berth. Quite often, especially in the winter, we we can't hear each other. Right. So so we've got the headsets. Ah, oh, fantastic. They don't go over your head; they go around the back of your head. But it means we're just not shouting to each other. Yeah and it makes life so easy and are those are the auto transmit ones when you speak it transmits. yeah 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 yeah, yeah they're yeah. open channel all the time right fantastic a lot of the fly bridges and bigger boats have them as yeah. well but it just makes life a bit easier and especially yeah. with my wife that's panicking when she can see a tanker five miles in the distance <laughs> she's telling me to go behind yeah. yeah we don't really use it for that sort of work no, it's no. mainly for the berth in and course. leaving the berth yeah and it has saved us a couple of times because i've got the information a lot quicker um, and received it that way. That's fantastic. And then, and then we just use the little hand ones. These friends yep. of ours have got them on their boat. Yeah. So we just use them as uh, ship to ship. Yeah. When we're all in a anchorage or places that we've been out for the day. Brilliant. So we can communicate. That's a really good idea. That one. And one thing I noticed as you got in here is the lighter wood. I think. Well, certainly it's a. Um, it, it's a matte finish rather than the the gloss, which looks yeah, nice. Yeah, it's not the dark. A cherry wood finish, no. which, which they do do as well with the darker seats. So I, I think it works better, making the bright more airy and lighter. Absolutely. This is that's an oak, I think, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I think it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really light, light oak. And you've got the big hull windows in this. Yes, the square ones, rectangle ones again. Yeah. Off instead of the round windows. Yeah, um, that's nice. We've got the Fusion Apollo head unit. Oh, nice. Yeah. Excellent. Sure. And the Harman Kardon speakers as well. Yes, yeah, yeah, not, not uh, Fusion, but um, th they were actually factory fit. Right, oh, okay. So, but they're linked up to the uh, TV. Yeah. So yeah. we can listen through the sound system onto, onto the TV on that one. Brilliant. Which is good. Brilliant. Um, storage down below. Yeah. Uh -huh. We've got a bit of storage down there. So. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, You're well set oh, up, aren't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a little bored, so yeah. while we're uh, away, we need to have everything with us. Of course. 
So how long do you stay on board at a time, would you say? Um, probably the maximum we've done is two weeks, but we right. tend to do lots of 10 day holidays through the year. Okay, yeah. So we get we get to look forward to something else. It, yeah. it does limit us that we can't go too far, Yeah. but we, we spread it through the year rather than having one big one. Yeah, that makes sense. So it's, it's quite nice to use. And, it, and with two of us, yeah. um, it's, it's just the right size. Yeah. The family do come and stay. Uh -huh. um, Especially grandchildren as well, which is one of the reasons I was able to talk my wife into getting the boat. <laughs> yeah, because the grandchildren would love it. So, yeah, so that was a good idea. But yeah. um, no, it does it does work well. Awesome, awesome. Work well. Yeah, we've got a another little cabin there. Okay. So the oh, so this is the oh, guest cabin, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's the one with the extra bed. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So they had this as an option. I, if I remember rightly, you could have like a sort of a storage area down here, all the seating and and bed sort of arrangement this has got. Yeah. But it, it does work quite well because you can sit on it to yep. do things rather than have it unusable as just drawers. Absolutely. So yeah. if you're using it as a bed, does it pull out or does the... Yeah, this bit comes out here. Oh, uh, great, okay, gotcha. And that drops over the back. Right. Uh, another one in front. Oh, so, so, so it comes out sort of back here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so understood. Fine. Yeah, oh, that's fine. Yeah. And then that piece there lifts off. Right. And that's the extra cushion for in there. Ah, uh, perfect. It's an idea for a child. Yeah, yeah, um, totally. And then you've got the two... Singles in here. Nice there. You can sit like that. Yeah. Which, uh, yeah, two singles. They go do a double. Yeah. That's the trim tab system waiting to be fixed. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, brilliant. So these beds here, and if you look on my other um, uh, tour of the Target Set 8, you'll see it, but you can actually slide one of these to the other one and make that a double bed if you prefer. And you can see the hull windows, which the earlier boats didn't have. I think I'm right in saying. Yeah, they were, yeah, were the oval ones before. Yeah, and then the later boats did. So you've got these on both sides, and the, and the square ones were the second of the two versions that they did. That's it. Very nice. Carbon monoxide detector, very important. Ah, yes. Excellent. So, Excellent. Uh, we've got those in each of the cabins. Right. That's um, a really good idea. Yeah, definitely everybody should. They should be a factory fit. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I agree. Um, yeah. But no, definitely have one, even at home. Yeah, I'm um, exactly the same. I've got two of them on my boat. I've only got two cabins on my boat, yeah. so hence two. But yeah, for what they cost, it's ridiculous not to have them. Well, then we've got the heads uh -huh. just around here. The only thing really I've done in this, this didn't have the night lighting on it. Right. So I put two little blue lights on the side here. Oh! So, so These here? Yeah, so at night time, because we have like the, the low lighting for night. Right. Which you can get up, because when, when you're in a total dark area, yep. um, an anchor somewhere, and the, it's pitch black. Yes. And not, it's a horrible feeling. Yeah. It's nice just to have the lights. You don't have to put anything on to walk around the boat to do anything. That's brilliant. And having them in there as well, you can use the loo in the middle of the night and it, it's not affecting it with the big lights going on. And Yeah, so you don't get blinded and then you're yeah, exactly. fully awake. And yeah, I yeah. really like that idea. And I see there's yeah. another one down there. But it's all little touches I've had put on. Well, it's what makes the difference, isn't it? I think it's done a really great job on this. I think it's fantastic. And it is immaculate as well, I have to say. Good, and then we've got another cabin at the front, I think I'm right in That's saying. That's it, yeah. So this is your cabin? Yep, this is the, the master cabin. Uh-huh. So you've got a little wardrobe yeah, on this side. wardrobe on that side, yeah. Yeah, and then storage around the top. Storage around the top. Lovely, and there's drawers under the bed on this side. There is a drawer under the bed, and there yep. is also, uh -huh. if you come out, I'll just show you the bed lifts up. Ah, excellent. Which I don't know if you've seen that before. I haven't. Probably. There you go. Wow, yeah, I did not know that was there. So Brilliant. You've got so a bit extra storage. Yeah. Which, it, with my wife, everything gets full. <laughs> but they, they are well kitted out for, for the storage you've got. Yeah, that's a really good idea. I like it very much. So there is an access down through here to the um, bow thruster. Right. Yeah. Which, which is down through with a fire extinguisher in there as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what else we got? Oh, this is the generator. Okay, so the start, stop, yeah. and so on. We have got seacocks for the generator. Right. So what I do is a system of when that tag there yeah. is on, yeah. it means do not start the generator. Of course, yeah. So just to explain that, the seacocks are uh, water that takes from, well, it takes from the seawater through the hull. So that cools the generator and then exhausts it out. But what you can do is the seacocks is a way of closing those off. So if you ever had any kind of problems with the water system inside the boat, you're not going to have any water coming in because the seacocks are closed off. So you tend to turn them on when you're running it and turn them off when you're not. A lot of people just leave them on all the time, of course, but it's good practice not to do that. So that's a very sensible idea. So, uh, well, so I lost. We've, we've got the, uh, the bins and okay. yep. so more cupboards. Yeah. Another big storage down there. 
Yeah. That's the infill cushion that goes on the seat. Oh, that is cunning. Yep. Okay. So we drop that down. Yeah. And that gives you another double bed. Yes, which we have used. Okay. We have had eight people sleep on this bed. Really? Wow. So two here, two in the front, two in the back, two in the cockpit? Yeah, two in the cockpit. Yeah. Drop the lounger down, put the table in, and uh, there's another pad that goes in there, and that makes another, another bed. Brilliant. Um, this one's got the gas as well. Uh, okay, so you can so use that anyway. Yeah, I'm a fan of gas, the gas. Yeah. Until it runs out when you're halfway through cooking. <laughs> Excellent. So it's an oven and grill and a two burner hob. That's it, yeah. Yeah. I have the same hob in my boat. And that's the only similarity. <laughs> well, that and one D4 engine. At the moment. At the moment, yeah, I'm working on it. <laughs> cool. Okay. Could we maybe go back up into the cockpit and just yep. have a little chat about, I'd like to know what boats you've had in the past yeah, and yeah, yeah. how you got to this point. Oh, yeah. That's like a very comfortable spot you've got there. This spot. Is this, that? This is when Paul's driving. I'm, yeah. I'm like this, enjoying the view. Fantastic. So well, well, a lot yeah. of the time, but when we're down here, uh -huh. we do. Lynn is on pot watch because there's yes. so That's many pots. Oh, I know. It's a nightmare. We came around Berry Head yesterday, and there was one that was just getting pulled under the surface yeah. of the water. Oh, yeah. yeah, and it's like, no matter how well you're looking, you wouldn't see it. No, no, no it, it absolutely just, irritates me. So yeah. So we do like two pairs of eyes out the front. If yeah. We're cruising. Yeah, yeah, of course. Which seems to be either crossing the channel, you get the pots. Yeah. Or down this, this down this end. Of the we water. do get a lot of them down here. Has we to be said. Must have a lot of lobsters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. But um, yeah. Right. So, um, how did you get into boating? Um, well, I've always boated sort of when I was at school we, we did uh, canoeing and sailing right I was always the first one to put my hand up say I want to do it yeah but dad wouldn't let me buy a canoe uh -huh. I wanted one but he wouldn't let me have one yeah so blame but, dad for that yeah blame your dad for that <laughs> but um then I suppose uh sort of got to about the 40s and I'm thinking I need a boat I need a boat the house yeah. is all done now yeah um time to do it so my son who's now 21 mm -hmm. um my wife was overdue, so we went to um, Hamble Point, mm. Marina Marbella, where Sea Seabra used to operate from. Right. And we bought our first 18 foot cuddy. From okay, there. yeah. Bow rider, um, wasn't it? Oh, sorry, yeah, it was the bow rider we yeah. bought. Yeah. The bow rider. Um, I booked a sea trial. Yeah. But my son in intervened on that one and decided <laughs> to be born. Yeah. On that day. <laughs> on that day. Wow. Well, 11th of August 99. So okay. The so, day what you, of the eclipse. It was. Oh, yeah. So, wow. So, that's why. Which is why the boat name is Third Eclipse. Oh. So, this is your third boat, presumably? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. No, 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 no. We stopped on three. Cause right. It's our, our third boat was called Third Eclipse. Right. But then all our boats after that have been called Third Eclipse. Because also, people know you for the name. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Know yeah. No, you're right. Actually, it's funny. When I named my boat, it's after an episode of Mummy Vice and it's Smuggler's Blues. And my idea was that each new boat would be a different episode of Miami Vice. Yeah. But once you've got a name that you really like, and as you say, people know you, you kind of yeah. stick with it. So this one ended up being Smuggler's Blues 2. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, so you had the, did you buy the Sea Ray? Uh, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, we bought that. And, and my, my son arrived back from hospital in the morning and the boat we collected in the afternoon. <laughs> Fantastic. And, and he was on the boat at two weeks old. Wow. Um, but for now we went to a Sea Ray 215. Oh, that's a nice boat. Yeah, quite roomy, isn't it? And that's probably... Yeah one of the best boats I've had. Right. The 215. Yeah. It does everything. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's a, a good boat. An affordable cost. Yeah. yeah. We had a Sea Ray 240. Yeah. So that's giving you now separate toilet and an after. Because there's always a reason to change. Yes. A bit more room, mm -hmm. a shower. Yeah. Um, but I did have a good idea on that one to um, have it converted to LPG. Okay. It was the in thing at the time. I remember. But it was one of those things that cost a lot of money. It didn't really work. And the boat was so back heavy. Yeah. Um, it, 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 it was one of my um, bad decisions. I remember <laughs> I was selling boats around that sort of time, and so I knew a few people who did it. And everybody I knew who had it said it's absolutely fantastic, and we've nearly got it right. <laughs> and it was always the same. We nearly, we just got a couple more alterations to do, and we nearly got it right, and then it'd be brilliant. And nobody ever did. Nobody ever did quite get it right. And then it wasn't the backup to. Um, 
to refuel anywhere. No, exactly, because they they would promise a load of fueling stations yeah. and they put a couple in, and then they yeah. they all dropped out, didn't they? Yeah, so yeah. So that one. yeah, and then we moved up to um, a couple of derails. Right. So which uh, Stancia first, didn't we? Yeah. Twenty twenty eight foot Prestancia was two sixties in. Okay. Which was uh, that was our first channel crossing. Right. So that, that was amazing, wasn't that? Yeah. We did that. Yeah. Um, and then. We traded up to the Intrigue, which is the 31 foot version. Okay, yeah. St still a nice boat. Yeah. Still have the electric hatch, which I like. Yes. Um, but then we thought, oh, these costs are getting out of control. Right. So then we downgraded to a Cobra Rib. Okay, yeah. So totally different, but it didn't have a toilet. Right, so yeah, essential. I totally so agree I with that. Like so we that. Didn't... No, no, well, I understand that. We still did a lot with it. Yeah. We actually um, trailered it over to France, didn't we? Yeah, to the Morbihan. Wow. Yeah, that was fantastic. And we, we followed a um, Princess B42 yeah. and slept on that. <laughs> right. <laughs> Did they know? <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, yeah, we, we were able to do the sporty bit, following behind, jump in the wake and yeah. all, all those things. Cool. And that still had a sound system on. Right. Excellent. Yeah. Which was good. Yeah. Um, and then from there we thought, well, let's go sensible. Mm -hmm. Seaward. We had a Seawood 25. 25. I know it well. My father has a Seawood 23. Yeah. yeah. Which yeah. was an amazing boat. And I yeah. thought, I'm going to kit it out like I always do. Yep. Yeah. Had some fantastic CAD suspension seats on there. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Went yeah. out for the first time, crossing the channel. And um, yeah, so we can cross the channel with a 25 foot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Twin yeah. shaft drive diesel. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. But the uh, the seats were so bouncy, I was making myself seasick. No, really? Because <laughs> oh. they were just. Yeah, yeah. But. Um, yeah, so, so we moved on from that. Then we thought a Nimbus. Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, offshore powerboats down at Limington. Yeah. We've got this uh, 32 foot Nimbus, which was the last one that they brought into the country. Right. So it was like the best of what the Nimbuses were for that time. Yeah. Again, put all the gadgets on. Yeah. And then we thought, should we get a bigger one? Because we're getting old now. <laughs> and if we don't do it now, yeah. then you know we may not be able to do it in the future yeah so we, we ended up with this awesome so we, we sold our nimbus in a, in a week wow so that went really fast yeah right in the middle of summer right so then we were boatless yeah so i was keeping an eye out for, for another boat we we would have gone for the 365 yeah but nimbus, a nimbus mm -hmm. but at that time there was none around right they were really hard to get hold of yeah so um I said to my wife, what about going back to a planing boat, a fair line? Yeah. She said, well, that's not a bad idea because accommodation is, is good. Yes. And the thought of the grandchildren coming along, yep. it, that was the, the swaying bit that, that took us in that direction. Yeah. So uh, this literally came up for sale from Bates Wharf on uh, Thursday night on yeah. the internet. Yeah. I rung on Friday and we bought it Saturday. Wow. It was that quick. Fantastic. And I think since then, nothing really at this price bracket has, yep. has been around earlier ones, the 2012s, yep. um, or, or the later ones, the 2016, where they more or less stopped making them. Yeah. Uh, with, with the twin helm seats. Yes. Yeah. Because um, that would be the only reason for changing this for another one of these, would be yeah. the twin helm seat. Yeah, that was a nice feature, wasn't it? Uh, with, with the different layout at the back with a grill. Yeah. But other yeah. than that, it's the same boat, really. It is. Yeah. So, but yeah, so that, yes, we've ended up with, with this today. Awesome. And may I ask the rude question and ask how much it cost? Uh, or just roughly? <laughs> yeah. Well, I can tell you the cost of what we paid for it, but now what it's worth after I've did all the extras. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. So, so, so a ball, let's, let's go with a ballpark figure. If you wanted, to, if somebody was going to buy a boat like this and said, how much am I going to pay for a boat like yours? Well, 2013. Uh, 2000 and... Well, we've had three years now, haven't we? Had it three years, nearly three years. Three yeah. years, we, we paid two forty. Okay, wow. But I've probably spent forty thousand on it. Yeah. In extras, of course. To, to get it how I want it. Yeah, but it does look fantastic, and I really like what you've done. I think it's very considered. Everything you put on it is really considered. It's not just stuff for the sake of bling. It's properly useful. Oh things. no, no, no! It's got a use for it. Um, yeah. We we could have the speakers with the LEDs in. Yeah, but apparently it doesn't suit this boat. Boat I've been told. <laughs> no, you need a ski boat for those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so we can't have them. But yeah. um, no, no, I think it's well equipped. Um, everything's functional. You yeah. know, you can have the second plotter uh, when, when we're going along. Yeah, I, I can see it because when you're going along with the fog, you've got the roof open and you stood up. Yes. 
So that gives you a little view down onto it rather yeah. than, yeah. So the radar's on. Um, I do have to tell my wife to duck every time we play the horn, though. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It does, uh, does make you jump. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. But yeah. So that's, uh, we're that's... really happy with this boat, aren't we? Yeah, it does yes. everything we want it to do. Yeah. And uh, last question, I think, where would you go from here? If you're going to buy another boat, do you think you will buy another boat? Is it? Where, where do you think the future I, of boating is for you? I always think this is it. Right. I, I, the only thing I could be swayed to buy, yeah. if finances allow, but not at the moment, yeah. would be a Princess 42. That's another the Flybridge. Flybridge. Yeah, that's a lovely boat. A lot yeah. of accommodation. Yeah. Um, and this time of life as well, we'd be using it more. Yes. So the extra space would, would be better. Yep. But I'm really happy with this. Yeah. Yeah, I can I can understand that. Yeah, I would be. Everybody always says if, if. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's 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 part of the disease that is boating is to always have your eye on what would I get next. Yeah. All definitely. my friends have had boats for 10, 15 years, same boat. Yeah. I'm the only one in our group. That have we've their we've boat. actually yeah. had more boats than we have had cars. <laughs> we keep our cars for the ten years or so, don't we, Paul? Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so, yeah. Excellent. That's been fascinating. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate your time okay. and taking a bit of time out of your holiday. And um, yeah. I hope you guys have found that interesting and uh, it is a beautiful, beautiful day here in Brixham, so I'm gonna let these good people go out and do boating. And um, and we're gonna do the same. Sadly not on a Targa 38, but maybe one day. Thanks ever so much for watching. We we'll look forward to catching you on the next one. Take care. Bye bye.